That, that got their hackles up. And of course, what you read are ridiculous arguments from people who've actually not read the book, but argue that I, what I'm talking about is not really nothing. But of course, they never define what their real nothing is, which is their main point. I mean, the Bible doesn't really define the void, right? The, it, the, generally, the void of the Bible is this infinite, you know, vast, empty space, right? The void. And that's one kind of nothing, but I'm actually pretty careful in my book to talk about different kinds of nothing. But there are people who say, well, he's not talking about a universe of nothing. He's talking about a quantum vacuum. And most of them don't even know. They know what those two, they know how to say those two words, but they don't know what quantum or vacuum means. I and, honestly and, don't either. Well, well, no, you know, it's a complicated subject. And the point is, I'm not even saying that. I'm talking about the universe, everything we see that we exist now, space, time, and everything within it, th in our universe, did not exist. Now, if, if one has the laws of quantum mechanics, you can pop a, un a whole space-time into existence where there was none before. So the, the question, of course, that's begged is, well, did anything else exist? Were there other universes? Did it, you know, and that, you know, that's a metaphysical question, and to some extent, one you can address in science, but it's irrelevant the point is that our universe didn't exist and then came into existence. Now, any semantic babbling that these people come up with arguing about a quantum vacuum means they haven't understood the central point, that there literally was no space, no time, no stuff, in our, that our, literally everything that we see did not exist. And I, and I don't care if anything else existed because that's not the question. The question is, can you get our universe from nothing? And, and, and it.